Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I want to talk about Trey's Trades video from yesterday and whether put options are good for the squeeze. I basically want to talk about the impact that Trey's video had on the community and the overall ape sentiment. I also want to talk about whether call options are good or bad for the squeeze, whether put options are good or bad for the squeeze, and whether options in general are good or bad for the squeeze. So stay tuned and let's make some money. And now I want to dive straight in with the key information. So, I want to start by talking about the most important thing that Trey spoke about in his video. At the 18 minute and 30 second mark, Trey speaks about how the market makers were overran by retail investors buying call options at ridiculous levels. Not by retail investors buying put options, not by retail investors buying and holding a few shares, but by retail investors buying call options. A little bit later on in the video, I'll explain why this is the most important thing that Trey said, but just bear that in mind. So I want to talk about why options are responsible for moving the market. Trey said in his video that he believes that retail investors control around 10% of a stock's movement. We also know that each and every single week, the market makers and the hedges push us below that max pain level. And we also know that buying options is a form of leverage trading the stock. When you buy one option, whether it's one call option or one put option, that gives you the right but not the obligation to either buy 100 shares or sell 100 shares. Now we also know that the market makers and the hedges abuse the options chain and abuse options by using them for their married and divorced puts, which is a way of rolling and hiding those failed to delivers and effectively kicking the can to a later date. We know that every single week, market makers buy tons and tons of put options to push that max pain level further and further downwards, causing the stock price to close further and further downwards. Every single week when AMC starts to rally, we are pushed back downwards, seemingly always below that max pain level. Considering that options trading is a form of leverage trading and considering that we close below that max pain level every single week, it's fair to assume that the massive buying of put options is responsible for the decreasing AMC price. Now that's because there is a combination of a massive amount of put option buying by the market makers and the hedges sprinkled in with a little bit of market manipulation and that's how the hedges and the market makers drop the price of AMC every single week. But on the flip side of that very same coin, we also note the chairman of Interactive Brokers, Thomas Pettifee, said that back in January there was more GameStop call options than the entire GameStop flow. That massive, massive buying of call options caused the market makers to panic, and if the buy button hadn't have been turned off, and if retail investors had exercised their call options, market makers would have gone bankrupt. Now that is exactly what Thomas Pettibee said, paraphrased slightly as I don't know the exact words that he used, but it was live on the news. He basically said that the retail investors overran the market makers by buying massive amounts of call options. And we also know from numerous short reports written by short hedge funds and short research firms that they are less worried now about a squeeze than they were back in January and February due to the massive decrease in the purchasing of call options by retail investors. And therefore, I do think that buying call options, especially in large numbers, is good for the mother of all short squeezes because we have the opportunity and the ability to overrun those market makers. Now there is tons and tons of research behind that because the purchasing of options leads to the steady creation of gamma and that steady creation of the gamma ramp. Now obviously if the shorts are downloading the options chain on a weekly and monthly basis they can prepare for us purchasing more call options and they can purchase more put options in return to ensure that they regain control of the options chain and they don't end up being overrun and over controlled. But market makers can absolutely be overrun by retail investors purchasing massive amounts of call options, just like what happened back in January of 2021 with GameStop, June of 2021 with AMC, and many other stocks like Atta, BBIG, and many, many more on top of that. As Darkpool says, I'm telling you guys, the short hedge funds do not want retail playing call options, especially now they are running low on available shares. And therefore, I do think when the price of AMC is low and call options are cheap and market makers start to push the price of AMC up to make money on their call options, I do believe we should absolutely add to that buying pressure of call options for the chance to overwhelm those market makers and cause the squeeze. 
However, on the flip side of that, if buying call options helps push the price of AMC up, then buying put options helps push the price of AMC down. Now, should we help the hedgies and the market makers push the price of AMC down? And my personal opinion on that is absolutely not. Guys, if you didn't already know, Moomoo and Futu have just officially announced that Futu does not accept payment for order flow, and therefore you don't have to worry about your trades going through sketchy dark pools or being given to Citadel. Right now you can currently get 5 free stocks worth up to $3,500 each, which is a total of up to $17,500 in free stocks just for signing up with Moomoo, using the link in the description below and making your first deposit. Moomoo is also incredibly easy to use and is incredibly customizable and is also entirely commission free. All of that combined will help you to trade like a pro. Moomoo also has tons of technical indicators and advanced charting tools. Moomoo publishes daily short selling data, position plus distribution and much, much more. So guys, be sure to sign up to Moomoo using the link in the description below to get all of those free shares. Now Mahul says buying puts only causes the share price to go down, and if you're doing that, wouldn't you be doing the exact same thing as the shorts, trying to push the price of AMC down if you're the ones buying puts? Just because somebody says to buy some put options to make some extra money on the side, it doesn't really mean that you should do it because at the end of the day, it's your option to do what you want. Now, Frey obviously tweeted this meme saying, I bet we can convince these idiots to buy puts on their own stock. And I bet this is exactly what the hedgies are thinking right now, trying to convince AMC apes to buy puts on AMC to help the hedgies and the market makers push the price of AMC down. Now, this is obviously exactly what we've been fighting against over the last year or year and a half or so. Now, I guess it's only my opinion to not buy puts and help push the price of AMC down, but I guess it depends what you are here for. Are you here to make some money? Are you here to potentially damage the AMC squeeze? And are you here to help push the price of AMC down? Or are you here to make AMC squeeze? Are you here for market reform and to help push the price of AMC up and cause the mother of all short squeezes? If you just want to make some money and you don't care about making AMC squeeze, then buy the puts and play the hedgies game and help push the price of AMC down and help betray the apes. But obviously if you're here for the squeeze, if you're here for that market reform and you're here to cause the mother of all short squeezes, don't buy the put options and don't help the hedgies. I think it's also important to remember that options are also very difficult and complex to understand. I don't think that options are a necessity for the mother of all short squeezes and for the squeeze, but I do think that call options will definitely help. I do think that there are a number of different things that could cause the squeeze right now. The first is obviously if there is a market crash and tons of these hedge funds end up being liquidated. The second is if the SEC, the Department of Justice and the FBI actually do their job with their short seller investigation and actually enforce some laws. Now the third is if those market makers decide to stop creating synthetic shares, they stop deciding to illegally naked short AMC and many other stocks in the market and they decide to play fair. Now, none of those three things actually require options whatsoever, and we could absolutely cause the mother of all short squeezes with any of those three possibilities. But the fourth way to cause the mother of all short squeezes is to overrun the market makers with call options, just like what happened back in January of 2021 and June of 2021 after that. As Trade Trade said in his video at 18 minutes and 30 seconds, as Thomas Pettifee said, and as many short sellers have been warning of or been worried about, the massive purchasing of call options can overrun these market makers, especially if the open interest in call options exceeds the AMC or GameStop flow. Now, obviously, that fourth way of causing the mother of all short squeezes does require the purchasing of call options on a massive, massive scale. And therefore, while it is important to buy calls and it could cause the MOAS, it's definitely not necessary. I personally think that trade trades is very wrong for trying to convince apes to buy put options and for shifting the sentiment towards put options and trying to encourage people to play the hedgies game and push the price of AMC down. While yes, you can make money playing the hedgies game and pushing the price of AMC down, that's not what the apes stand for. 
The apes are obviously against market manipulation and the apes are for market reform and causing the AMC squeeze, not buying puts, making some money on the side and pushing the price of AMC down. I guess it depends what your primary definition of an AMC ape really is and whether Trey got lost along the way. It depends whether you define an AMC ape as somebody that wants to make money or somebody that wants to cause the short squeeze. Because as I said, yes, you can absolutely make some money on the side by buying put options and pushing the price of AMC down, or you can not buy the put options, cause the short squeeze, make tons and tons of money, and be for market reform as well. I personally think that Trey maybe needs to remember a bit more what the apes actually stand for. That apes aren't trying to be on the same side as the market makers and play their game. The apes are against the market makers and against this market manipulation. Guys, be sure to let me know down in the comments below whether you think that we should buy some put options just to make some money on the side and potentially harm the AMC squeeze, or whether you think we should stick to solely buying and holding the stock, or whether you think we should actually buy some call cool options and try and overrun those market makers. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of my others. Alternatively, subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell, because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.